What is a blessing? How do we get a blessing? Why do people have the power to bless? Why does an object have the power to bless? What happens after a blessing? What do we do with a blessing? And that's what I want to talk about with all of you is what is a blessing? What does a blessing entail? How do you know you've been blessed? How do you know that this Lama didn't just put some empty little gold thing on top of you, bless you, collect your 10 ringgits? Just take 10 ringgits from here, after this I can go Shangri-La have a nice din, -din <laughs> with a few friends. A blessing is when you come across certain situation and it triggers, the environmental situation triggers your mind to restart what you have done in your previous life. That is called a blessing. Why is it a blessing? Blessing is an English word meaning getting something good, divine providence, something borderline miraculous, something that's positive, something that improves your life. So, if a blessing improves your life, and you come across something that makes you do that that makes you do something and change the course of your life to positive, you receive the blessing. Why? That instant you change, no. That instant you transform, no. That instant you become different, no. But from that point on, it becomes better for you. Then that is a blessing. Is when we come across a situation and we have done this before or we have met this person before, or we are familiar with this activity, when we come across it, it will open our mind. When our mind is open to that positive action we have left off, that means we have received a blessing. Who can give blessings? Who can? People who practice great compassion. People who practice forgiveness. People who practice love. Love, what kind of love? Not love towards our family because that's biased. Love that is not based on getting something back from the other person. My point is this, is that if you've done something in your previous lives and it's very strong inside of you, very strong, and you've done it for many lifetimes, from a very young age, when you're very young, you will start to be drawn towards this. Even if you're in an environment that's completely foreign to it, you will be drawn to it, you'll look for it, you'll want it, and anything you hear and anything you see about it will resonate, resonate inside of you very strong. How much you've done it in your previous lives will be how strong it resonates inside of you. But, listen carefully, but, if it is something very good, even if you've done little, it will still resonate in this line. Why? Example, if it's the power of Lama Tsongkhapa, and you've done it, Lama Tsongkhapa's power is incredible. One small piece of gold, or other, one diamond that is small, one carat, one diamond, is worth much more than a hundred pieces of crystal, two hundred or three pieces uh, piece of crystal. One diamond will surpass many crystals. So in your previous life, if you had been a crystal, you, you had many crystals, but you had one diamond. In this life, that one diamond will outshine all because its value is more. Like that, even in your previous life, every day you pray to Lama Zongla, but just five minutes, you offer one Bada Lam. In this life, even though most of your life you have not done, you don't know, you don't understand, but it comes to you. It comes to you, you don't know why. Even you don't want it, it comes to you. It means you have affinity. So a blessing is what? A blessing is when someone, something, some situation, some friend, some event reconnects you back to what you were doing that was very good and you will feel comfortable. And many cases of people, upon sight of their Lama, they're moved. So a blessing is when we come across a situation and it opens up. And if that good thing is very far in all of us, very, very far and distant, then it will take several times where it opens up. If the blessing is very strong, a lama placing something very holy on top of your head that contains relics of high lamas and high meditation masters will open up that in you. How will that open up in you? Because you see rainbows. 
You see, don't come up here to you, talk to you, my son, my daughter. Mm, come here, I miss you. Where are you? Mwah. And Brother Shakman throws you some money. Here you are, they're looking for you. No, that, that's not it. When you get a blessing, you know what happens? Is that from that point on, if you're a Hindu, you become a better Hindu. If you're a Christian, you become a better Christian. Etc. If you're an atheist, you become a better human. If you've been abandoning your parents, you start taking care of your parents. If you've been a greedy little monster and your favorite mantra is Om Mani Padme Hom. Not Om Mani. Money. Om Mani Padme Hom. Money, 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 money. Everything. Give me money, 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 money. Money, money, money. No, I don't want money. Wah. I'm doing dharma. If your favorite mantra is with money and all you're focused on is money and you want money, 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 then you hear a blessing. It will create waves in your mind of guilt, fear, your future results and what will happen to you. Do you know why? Because you're deep down a good person. You're a good person inside.